McDonald's is a last name. Abercrombie and Fitch, last name. Armani is a last name. Baskin Robbins is a last name. Fisher Price, Gucci, Hennessy, Harley Davidson, Hilton, Honda, Marriott is a last name. Maybach is a last name. Pillsbury is a last name. Porsche is a last name. Procter and Gamble, two last names. Rolls Royce, Charles Rolls, Henry Royce, last names. Versace, last name. Wells Fargo, Henry Wells, William Fargo, last name. Walgreens, last name. Welch's Grape Juice, last name. Here you are, you think you're buying a product. You are not buying a product, you're buying a name. You think you're wearing a product. Hey, look at this product. No, you're saying, look at this family. And what you don't know is while you're making every family rich, you're making yourself broke. So you don't went to one family called Wells Fargo and got $200,000 so you can go to another family called Rolls Royce so you can give them money to get yourself a car so you can go back to the hood and see the Joneses and say, look at what I, what I got. Meanwhile, Wells Fargo, their family's sitting up being rich and Harley Davidson's and Rolls Royce are being rich and the Joneses are sitting there holding up people's stuff saying, look at what we did and we broke. Legacy. There's power in your name. Power in your name. There are some people who are attached to you who are saying, Mama, can you do something with this name? There, there, there are some people who are saying, Dad, can you do something with this name? Maybe God gave you the name to change and reverse some of the stuff that the name meant one day. I wish there was somebody in this room that say my name might mean one thing right now, but I promise after today, this name's getting ready to change. I promise after today, everybody's going to want my last name. I'm here to let you know you are a curse breaker. You are not just getting married, you're breaking a curse. You are leaving a legacy whether you want to or not. Everybody in this room is gonna leave a legacy. The question is, are you gonna be intentional about the legacy you're leaving? You have enough right now to change your life. You have enough right now to flip this world upside down. You have enough. You got enough power. You got enough anointing. You got enough grace. You got enough patience. You got enough gifting to make your money, get out of debt, get yourself together, and change everything about your world. I know people today who starve because they don't want no little job. I I'm not doing no little job. Not realizing a little job, a little job can give you a big opportunity. If you work, if you work at McDonald's, work that thing and then all of a sudden you the manager and you're like yep I need you over there I need you on fries I need you on burger I need you at the register yep I need you to get that paper yep I need you yep you take a sick day and then before you know it you own six of those things why because you started with a little and you worked what God gave you and you elevated yourself to the top stop waiting for the big God said I gave you enough now use what you got Don't tell me you want this stage and you can't stand at that door. Don't tell me, no, no, no. Don't get it twisted, don't get it twisted. Before I ever stood on a stage, I cleaned one at an old Baptist church. When everybody left, I stayed vacuuming when nobody was there. That's how I got the microphone. I didn't get a microphone because I can talk the best. I didn't get a microphone because I can sing the best. I got a microphone because serving kept elevating me everywhere of my life. One of the hard truths about life is that success takes time. Let me say that again. Success takes time. We are in a generation where we want everything to be fast. I don't know who sold us this idea that I'm supposed to be a millionaire overnight, that I'm supposed to have a successful business overnight, that I'm supposed to have a six pack overnight, that I'm supposed to have the greatest marriage that's ever been seen overnight. And that is not true. The truth of the matter is that greatness takes time. Success takes time. If you are gonna have the body of your dreams, that six pack, bicep, tricep, it's gonna take time. Time in the gym, time eating right, time. If you are going to have the business that's blowing up, that everybody's looking at and hiring people, it's gonna take 
time. If you are going to have the mindset and if you're going to have the legacy that's going to last, the legacy where you can pass something down to your children's children's children, it is going to take time. And my challenge with this generation, my challenge with our current culture is we are trying to rush. We want everything now. And if it doesn't come quick and if it doesn't come in a hurry, we will abandon it. If our dream isn't accomplished in two weeks, we're done. If the relationship doesn't give us goosebumps quickly, we're done. Anything that seems like it's gonna be tedious or like it's gonna take long or like it's gonna be a difficult time, we will totally escape it, get away from it and abandon it. And many of us are missing out on golden opportunities because we don't want to take the time to go through the process. I don't know what my name meant before I got here, but I know it's going to be before I leave. You got a legacy. What is legacy? When we talk about legacy, a legacy is something that is passed down. It is your mark. It is your footprint in the earth. It is your contribution to the world. Your legacy is something that is passed down. It is your mark. It is your footprint in the earth. It is your contribution to the world. If you're going to leave a legacy, you're going to have to remember how you started, but focus on how you finish. I don't want you to forget how you started. I don't want you to forget that father wasn't there. I don't want you to forget some of the conditions that you were raised in. I don't want you to forget some of the rejection and some of the pain. No, I absolutely, I want you to remember how you started, but do not for one second let it dictate how you're gonna finish. This thing takes time. It takes time. It takes practice. It takes failure. It takes getting up. It takes you trying it again. It takes doors closing. It takes people walking out. It takes time for you to get to your success. There is no such thing as an overnight success. There is no such thing as just, you just got lucky. No, you got to put in the work. And the hard truth about life is that it's going to take time, which means you cannot rush this process.